including making it plain to any potential foe. Pentagon Chief Lloyd Austin praised the B-21 Raider stealth nuclear bomber at its launch on Friday. Austin said the high-tech stealth bomber designed to fly unmanned is a testament to American excellence. Dramatic music played and lights flashed as the hangar door holding the new aircraft slowly opened, and the audience applauded as the cloth covering it was pulled away to reveal a sleek gray bomber that cost nearly $700 million to build. The B-21 Raider is the first strategic bomber in more than three decades, Austin said. It is a testament to America's enduring excellence in ingenuity and innovation, the Pentagon boss said in remarks at the ceremony. Many of the aircraft's specifications have been kept secret but the plane will offer a significant advance over existing bombers in the U.S. fleet. That's what Austin highlighted in his remarks. He praised its range, which he said no other long-range bomber can match in efficiency and durability. It's designed to be the most maintainable bomber ever built, Austin said. Like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II fighters, the B-21 Raider features stealth technology which minimizes the aircraft's distinctive features through its shape and manufacturing materials, making it harder for enemies to detect. 50 years of advances in low observable technology have gone into this aircraft, Austin said. Even the most advanced air defense systems would struggle to detect the B-21 in the sky, he added. The aircraft was also built with an open systems architecture which allows the incorporation of new weapons that haven't even been invented yet, Austin said. Amy Nelson, a fellow at the Brookings Institution think tank, commented ahead of the launch that the B-21 was designed to evolve. Open architecture allows for better software integration in the future, including for autonomy, so the aircraft doesn't become obsolete quickly, she said. The B-21 is much more interesting than its predecessors or truly modern. Not only is it dual capable, unlike the B-2, meaning it can launch nuclear or conventionally armed missiles, it can launch both long-range and short-range missiles. Nelson said, There was no mention at the ceremony of the aircraft's potential for unmanned flight. U.S. Air Force spokeswoman and Stefanek said that the aircraft is prepared for the possibility, but no decision has been made to fly unmanned yet. The first flight of the B-21, the backbone of our future bomber forces, is expected to take place next year, and the Air Force plans to purchase at least 100 aircraft, Stefanek said. Northrop Grumman said that six aircraft are currently in different stages of assembly, and testing at its facility in Palmdale. The newest and most advanced bomber will be an important part of the U.S. nuclear triad, which consists of weapons that can be launched from land, air and sea. For nuclear deterrence, the bomber fleet provides flexibility to the U.S. nuclear posture and redundancy if one of the other legs fails, Nelson said. The name Raider was chosen in honor of the 1942 U.S. bomber raid on Tokyo led by Lt. Col. James Doolittle, the first American raid on the Japanese homeland after the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor the previous year. On a cold and rainy April morning, for months after Pearl Harbor, 16 U.S. Army bombers took off from an aircraft carrier in the Pacific, Austin said. They flew more than 650 miles to attack distant enemy targets, and the Doolittle Raiders, as they were called, demonstrated the power and reach of American air power, he said.